every time you go digging in this book, the book of Genesis, in the early chapters of the creation, and go BTTG and go back to the garden, you can see that there is something in there that's going to really rattle your case. Paul's back there having this conversation with Satan. We know it's very familiar text to us, but what if she says, instead of uh, actually paying attention to Satan, she says, what is it inside of me? Right now, that's drawing down the type of energy or why am I uh, being in this conversation? What is it that I feel that I'm not adequate? What What is there going on in my heart? What if she does what we call hit body dude or his body dude, she does introspection and says, what is it inside of me? That's this longing for this to, to be a, listen, she was a door open for Satan. She was actually facilitating and having a conversation with, with, with this serpent. But what if she says, what is it that is causing this to be? And then she recognizes, oh man, it's the selfishness in me and this desire to be like God instead of being happy and being content with who I am and where I am. She doesn't want to keep the Torah and be in subjection to me. Come on now. I mean, really? If, ho if blame is blame, whether you cloak it in holy garb or come straight out, blame is blame. And we're not blaming. Every time I've been in a situation with my spouse and I've chose to blame, Father who chastens those we love, you, you're gonna get a spanking. That's exactly what's gonna happen. It's not gonna be one of these situations where you can blame, 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 and then they'll wake up and say, oh, or you or the wife to the husband, husband and the wife, you all know I'm talking about both of us, not just the one. You wake up, oh, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Thank you for blaming me all the time.